Hello everyone, Ana Estarita here. Today, I'll be sharing with you a few very powerful AI integrations that can extend the reach of what's possible with Touch Designer. Most of these tools are focused on image generation, but we'll also be looking tools that can supercharge your audio and coding workflows. So let's get started. The first one we'll be talking about is Touch Diffusion developed by Oleg Tiziani of VJ School. Touch Diffusion is an implementation for interactive real-time stable diffusion generation with Stream Diffusion. One of the things that made Touch Diffusion so attractive is how easy it is to integrate with Touch Designer. In their GitHub repo, you'll find instructions on how to install the portable version as well as the manual install. To install the portable version, just download the archive You have five parts of this archive to download, and it will take a little while. But once the five parts are completely downloaded, what you can do is that you just extract the first one, and it will create the whole file structure for you. Once the process is complete, you'll find inside your file structure a file called webui.bad and double clicking that file will open a common prompt that will generate a Gradle with a local URL where you can modify your model. Clicking on that local URL will bring you to the Gradle and then um, in the install and update tab you can update the dependencies that you need to make your whole um, model be created. It will start downloading the dependencies and this will take some time. But once all the packages are ready, you can restart your Gradle and your web UI bad. And then you'll be able to create your uh, engine. You can select the model type, you can select the model and you can select the size and height of your model and the sampling. Of course, changes on size and height and sampling will um, make the creation of the model take longer or not. And you can select also other types of acceleration. Um, if you click make engine, it will build the engine. It will take a while and you'll notice that um, the actual the process is happening inside the common prompt. And what we have in here is just a visual preview on the web UI. After a while, my model is finally complete. And I can see here something that I really like is that it tells me the, spec that, the fact that it's ready, but it also tells me the expected frame per second that it will take to run the model. So now that I have this model, I can head back to the GitHub repo and download the TOX file that I need to load the model. I can bring my TOX into Touch Designer and I'll follow the instructions that uh, Oleg described on his video tutorial. Now for the manual install, just like with most integrations of PyTorch and Python in Touch Designer, you want to make sure you have your CUDA toolkit updated and downloaded. You want to have Git and you want to make sure you have the right version of Python. To find what version you have on Touch Designer, you can go to Textboard, check that version of Python, and then you can go to your common prompt and make sure that your Windows version of Python matches the same one that you have on Touch Designer to avoid issues. As well as the NDI SDK that will come useful in some integrations. Another great integration of Stream Diffusion in Touch Designer is a Stream Diffusion TV setup by Lyle Hans, better known on Dot Simulate. Uh, it is an incredible integration and 
it's not the only thing that uh, you can find in his Patreon. He has integrations of Comfy UI into Touch Designer, as well as uh, Music AI Generator in Touch using Meta Music Gen and Audio Gen models, as well as other integrations like Automatic 1111 text to video extensions. If you go to his Patreon, you'll find so many AI integrations for Touch Designer is a real trove of treasures. I think that if you want to add Touch Designer in your pipeline, you can definitely check out what he's been working on. Another incredible contribution in this line of community generated tools is Torium Blankensmith Teachable Machine plugin. Teachable Machine is a super cool model training online platform that allows you to train your own classification models without needing to code. It supports visual models, audio models, and post models. And the Teachable Machine plugin allows you to bring these models into Touch Designer so you can use detection of uh, things in your scene as triggers. And so as you can see here to create things with Teachable Machine, you just uh, select a bunch of photos. You can use your webcam and it creates very solid models then afterwards you can just uh, push to the web and load into the TOX that uh, Torin uh, generates and posts on his Patreon. And you can use this information to actually uh, read your image. And just like uh, Dot Simulate, Torin has an incredible Patreon full of tools to integrate AI in Touch Designer in ways that are super easy. And the last two tools I want to share with you are tools that even though are not specific to touch can really supercharge your workflow. One is NVIDIA maxing integration with touch designer and touch designer RTX face detection, detection features. NVIDIA maxing is a series of microservices that use AI to enhance audio, video and AR in real time. It's really available if you have an RTX graphics card. And what is so cool about it is that you can use it for things like OBS and you can use it with their software, but also you can bring the capabilities into Touch Designer. Uh, you can use pre-recorded content to create masks that allows you to separate uh, your um, users from the background. and. Our own, our very own Crystal Zhao has a great article on what are the ways that you can integrate Maxine in your workflow. Uh, check the link to the post below. Uh, and there's also NVIDIA RTX face detection and both functionalities I want to clarify are dependent of you having a graphics card with an RTX architecture. But if you have that, it's incredibly powerful and it's just so easy to integrate. And the last tool I want to talk about is GitHub Copilot, which is an AI developer tool that basically helps you write your code, understanding the context and what's happening. In this case, I'm using an older Touch Center project and I'm going to open my code using Visual Studio Code. I already have Video Copilot activated, but I have to let it know that this file is like a trustable file. And then I can see at the bottom right corner that I have that little icon telling me that video compiler is ready. If I click, I can see that it's telling me it's ready. And in the moment I start writing, it identifies the code, what's going on. I press Command E or Control E, and I am able to put in a prompt. And what video copilot, sorry, what <laughs> AI copilot does, GitHub copilot does, is that it understands what's happening before, understands what are the variables I'm using, what I'm trying to do, and creates something else based on that. So I give my prompt and it gives me as a result a set of lines that I can choose to use or edit, but it is incredibly useful, incredibly useful when you're writing code on Touch Designer. And yes, these are some of the coolest tools that I think are there. I really like that a lot of these tools are actually community tools, tools that have been created by the community itself. And I think that 
says really great things about the touch center community but let us know in the comments below if there's any tool you want us to cover in more detail if you want us to do any specific tutorial about hey folks thanks for watching if you like our youtube content i highly recommend you check out the interactive and immersive hq pro the HQ Pro is the only comprehensive educational resource and community for immersive design, touch designer, and creative tech pros. In the HQ Pro trainings, we cover almost any topic you can think of, and we go way more in depth than we do in our YouTube tutorials. We have a private group where Matthew Reagan, myself, and our other industry veteran and pioneer teachers answer your questions every single day. If that sounds cool, click the link in the description to learn more. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more free touch designer and immersive content.